Okay, everybody. Um, <clears throat> hello, viewers, all many sundry. You may be wondering, where's my review? I was expecting a review. You told me you were going to give me a review. Well, the fact is that, no, sorry, not a review this week. This week, a vlog. Something different. The man behind the curtain has come out. Or the woman, because I am obviously a woman. Has come out, and <laughs> yes, this is Victoria. It's the first time you've seen me, unless some of you have been actually watching my blog, in which case you've seen me, but you've seen me with a mask on. So this is the first time you've actually seen moi. Sans, uh something between you and me. Uh, anyway, point being, the reason I'm making a vlog is threefold. One, I'm swamped with finals. I don't have time to make a review. This is a lot easier. If I just screech at the computer for a bit, it gives me a rest. Comparatively speaking, it means that I can actually pass my classes or actually do better than passing. Two, I'm sick. For those of you who can actually note that I have a slightly nasal thing going on, or more so than usual, you will note that I am diseased. I have a head cold, and I can tell by the scratchiness in the back of my throat that I will not be able to talk in the next couple of days. So that's pretty much a out-of-the-question issue. And number three, three, oh yes, three, I just got back from the Emily Autumn concert. Oh yes, oh yes, I got back from the Emily Autumn concert just about, oh, I don't know, ten minutes ago or so. Say longer. Anyway, the point be, I say that a lot. Point being, that's my latest phrase. Continuing. I have a confession, dear viewers. Oh yes, I have quite the confession. I popped a cherry tonight. Not just any cherry, though. I popped my concert-going cherry. I have never been to a concert up till this night. And I have to say that this was a very good way to pop, it, pop, pop one's concert cherry. Because, oh, Emily, you were very gentle with me. Thank you for this poor little concert virgin. The... Let me see. How sh shall I begin this story of how this all began? Well, earlier this day, at around three, me and my roommate, who you'll see in a couple of minutes, began to prep to leave. He this involved doing my hair and doing her hair. You'll see her hair. I dyed her hair. She did my hair by... Normally, I have much curlier hair. We had originally intended to give me big box spring curls. That didn't quite work, so instead... We just opted to straighten it, though you can see on this side, the side I'm trying to tilt towards you and grabbing at the wrong- ah ha yeah. You can see some of the natural curls already reasserting itself, so I have extremely curly hair and extremely stubborn hair. I also am extremely stubborn. There you go. So we climbed aboard her truck, car, thing. I don't know. I understand steam ships. I understand locomotives. I don't understand cars. Steam is my- and is also my constant companion. The, um, we climbed aboard her car and then proceeded to roar down the highway because we assumed we were late. According to our tickets, the door, tickets, the show started at 7. So we were hell-bent for leather the entire way there. And um, I spent all, just about all of my time, thank you, grabbing the Jesus handle. Because, yes, my roommate was pretty much breaking the speed of sound as far as I'm concerned. Bullshit. Oh, shut up, you. For those of you who don't know what the Jesus handle is, look it up on Urban Dictionary. Here are some synonyms to help you get started. It is also known as the oh shit handle, the oh god we're all gonna die handle, and the slow down no and use the brake, you're going to fucking kill us handle. That should be able to let you figure out what exactly I'm talking about. Continue, we finally arrived and turned out that the, it was not so, that it, the show did not start at 7, instead the doors opened at 7, which meant that we were quite early and were able to get very good seats, or well, technically standing space. We were about uh, four from the stage, which was a great deal of fun. And we're good seats, means that you neither get are afraid of, you know, getting kicked in the face, but you are also not, you know, at the way ass back of things. So the show eventually started about 8, 8, 10, 8, 15. And it proceeded to go on in great style. There was all manner of things, such as, let me see, flaming hula hoops, pyromaniacs, cannibals, excuse me, tea, 
getting spit on, yes, me and my roommate both got spit on by Captain Maggot twice, which means I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these clothes, whether I should never wash them, wash them immediately, get them cleaned by hazmat team, or just burn them. So, debatable. And, let me see, what else was there? Oh, yes, there was, a, for all of you mouth-breathing gearhead males, and some of you mouth-breathing gearhead females, there was a lot of girls kissing girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Finally, there was awesome, spectacular music, including all of everybody's favorite songs to do with Emily, Ophelic, I Want My Innocence Back, which I pretty much belted out at my own top volume, and will probably be one of the other reasons why I won't have a voice in a couple of days. Oh, good grief. Misery Loves Company. V M Misery Loves Company, violin solos, you name it. They had it, and the entire thing ended with a rend- or at least the first time it ended, there were two encores. There's the first- the song that things basically ended on was a rousing rendition of Bohemian Rhapsody, because hey, we're all nerds here, and now, to pro- to have a little bit of a flashback to my own childhood, I'd like to admit that when I was a kid, I was a history nerd even then, I believed that- <clears throat> The entire song, Bohemian Rhapsody, had everything to do with Galileo himself, and that the protesting bit, sting bit, you know, the let him go aspect actually had everything to do with Galileo begging to be released from, um, the Vatican prison. Welcome to the inside of my head. <laughs> Shut up! I'm dead serious. That's my roommate you can hear laughing. So, we, you know, we finally left. I picked up a poster on the way out, so I can prove to you. Oh yes, that is Dear Emily gorgeous. And we tore our asses back here, and that's basically how I spent the night, and that's why I'm doing this for you, so you can get an idea. It was quite steampunk. There was lots of gears and things flying around, and of course, wherever there is tea, a steampunk can inevitably find some connection. So, let me see. That's the concert, and the getting there, and